Long unpaid hours and toxic work environments are crushing employees at the Bemidji Post Office, said according to a longtime carrier who quit just last week. Fox 9's Corn Hoggard is live at a different post office with a rare peek inside the Bemidji office to see conditions for workers this holiday season there. Corin? Yeah, Randy, Dennis Nelson says he reached his breaking point after many weeks of working 12 hours or more a day, six days a week, all starting when they added Amazon deliveries to his regular route. Dennis Nelson saw the negatives in his job pile up too high as soon as Amazon packages came to the Bemidji Post Office. The first day we walked in there and saw that, it was, it was something that we couldn't even wrap our heads around. Nelson was a rural carrier for more than 20 years. He knows the 75-mile route well enough to sometimes finish in less than eight hours. But he says adding Amazon packages in November forced him and his fellow carriers to work at least 12 hours a day. He says they usually didn't get extra pay for extra work, and he worried about safety on the roads on winter nights. Being out there until 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, uh, somebody was, is probably going to get seriously hurt or killed. Postal Service management told members of Congress last week that the Minnesota North Dakota district had 112 seasonal vacancies, but only fully hired 24 employees. Senator Tina Smith says the district has only 60 percent of the staff it needs in rural areas. Customers of the U.S. Postal Service in Bemidji um, are not getting the service that they deserve. Prioritizing Amazon packages is not USPS policy, but individual post office managers have the discretion to to prioritize packages over mail. Spokespeople didn't answer our specific questions about complaints at the Bemidji office, but responded to Senator Smith saying, quote, for the most part, all mail pieces and packages, including in Bemidji, are being delivered daily, end quote. Nelson says that was an almost impossible task that forced him to leave a job he loved until recently. Yeah, I would love to see this all work out with the post office. Things get cleaned up and straightened up. I'd like my job back. Now, Amazon and the Postal Service have had a contract since 2013, and Amazon occasionally expands where it uses the post office. Now, according to internal documents from USPS, that relationship created a $1.6 billion profit for USPS in 2019. Live in Eden Prairie, Cornhogger, Fox 9.